Hi everyone! Welcome back! So today I'm gonna do a deck profile of a very special deck, my all-time favorite Vanguard deck. Which is my Shadow Paladin deck, my Luard deck. So, first of all... Grade 0 I play is Lingering Knight Revenger Conrad. Now I know it's a Revenger card, but it is very very useful in this deck. In the sense that I put it into the soul and I can normal a unit. When I choose normal with my hand and I discard it, I look at the top card of my deck. I decide if I put it on top or on the bottom of the deck and I draw. So it gives me an extra card from my to my hand. And I can give 5,000 to a unit if I'm in uh, uh, if I'm in, if I'm in generation break one. Sorry. So I really like that great zero. It's basically the main card of my deck. Now, grade threes. In reverse order this time. I play four Luards, because that's the base of my deck. Okay. I play one Supremacy Dragon, Claret Sword, Dragon Revolt. He's kind of my backup plan in case uh, I don't get Luard. And then I play two Gigantech Shutter. Uh, I play only seven grade threes. Because I don't need more because of uh, his effect. And because of another card I play in the deck, which I'll get into later. So that's my great threes. Great twos, I play four more Morphessas. I love this card because your opponent will not want you to superior call a grade one, so he'll have to guard, basically. Then I play three uh, Drag Wizard Noes. Also superior calls, and then I play four vanillas. Why do I play the vanillas? Because uh, they're very useful against Rush. That's one of the main decks against which I have problems. Not one of the only ones, but one of the main ones. Great ones, which are basically the heart of this deck. I play a lot, so I play four times Abyssal Hour. Out. Four perfect guards, so draw drag saver Ezrath, because I can I can get her back. I can recycle her. Very very useful. And then here's the card I why I play. So as I was saying before my camera cut out, so sorry about that. I'm having a few camera problems, but soon I will have a new one, and uh, the image will be better, and I won't have this problem anymore. So I play. Three Cherishing Knight Browin. That's why I only play seven grade threes. Still have the Strider. There we go. Then I play two Black Winged Sword Breakers. Because very important card in this deck and you can superior call it pretty easily. And two is enough. I actually tried with four and I realized it was too much. Then I play one Light Elemental uh, Honolly. This is great against Royal Paladin, Aqua Force, all those decks that attack multiple times. And last but not least of my Grade Ones, I play a Decipher of Prohibited Books. Also very useful. So that's for my Grade Ones. Now my great zeros. I play four heals, of course. You know. There's no. Four draws, which fill up my soul. Also a reason why I play him. It's because I need soul. And I play three times the Cursed Eye Raven. So very useful when I need to um Sacrifice units for the effects of my great fours, which I'll get to efforts. And I play, of course, four Bella Belial Owl. So this critical is critically good. Because not only does it let me draw, but I can recycle it. So I love this critical. And then, because I play Claret's Ward, I play one uh, Tebu Mage Kafar. I only play one. That's absolutely enough. Well, that's for my great 
these heroes. And now, of course, we have the great fours. So for great fours, I play two drag driver Luards. I play one drag strider Luard. Love this card. I play one supremacy black dragon. I'm an Aura Geyser the Doomed. One Supremacy Black Dragon Aura Geyser Dragon. Now you're wondering, if, if I play the Doomed, I should play three of these. Well, no. I'll only play one because this is usually my first uh, G unit uh, that I play. And, give, and, uh, and just playing one of each is absolutely enough because you have way more important cards to play. I play one Dark Knight Egren Ver. Ver. Like this, this I love this um, generation, generation break eight. Saved my ass multiple times. I play one Dark Dragon Spectral Blaster Diablo. I play two Supremacy True Dragon Clarence Ward Helheim. I play two Dark Dragon Carnivore Dragon. I like this card because I can retire opponent units, force him to retire. Then for the G-Guards, I play two Dark Dragon Plotmaker Dragon. I play one Witch Queen of Inquinti Cherido. I play one Dark Ele Element Dismal. Because I need my rear guards. And I play one Dragweiser Gronach. So... Basically, with this, with this deck, the faster you can get into generation breaks, the better. And the faster you have grade ones in the graveyard, the better. So usually, what you're going to try and do is, since the beginning, guard with grade ones you have in your hand. So as fast as possible as you have, as you have the grade ones in your graveyard, the more effects you can activate. So, because of the Ritual 3 ability, Ritual ability, which is depending on numbers of great ones you have in your graveyard. And that's why I love this deck. I just love the art. I love how the deck is played. That not only do you have to consider the units you have on appeal, but also in your graveyard. That I can recycle. So losing by deck out is exceedingly hard with this deck. And... And yeah, it's, it's, it's a deck I really, really enjoy. It's a lot of fun to play. And, uh, I do recommend it, actually. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed. And check out on my channel, there is a, a video where I'm actually playing this deck. So, uh, I think there's maybe even two. So go have a look at those. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe. And comment. And, uh, I really hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoyed making it. And see you in my next video. Bye.